Hey everyone, so this is my second update for my dollhouse build. Um, I went to the hobby store this weekend to pick up some supplies, and I actually picked up some paint at Target, because that is one of the, one of the first steps that you need to um, do before you start actually building your dollhouse. So, uh, I have all the pieces out laid out that I need to paint, which is mostly the exterior walls, um, and then the attic panels down here. I decided to go with a sage green, which you can kind of see here, it's not showing up super well in the camera, um, with a cream trim and this kind of like burnt orange pink accents. Um, so I'm just now starting to paint a little bit and I will show you again once I get it all painted. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I have the first layer of paint on. I don't even know if you can tell that there is paint, but there is. Um, I'm losing some light. Let me try and turn on this light. Uh, you can kind of tell. Um, so, it's looking pretty uneven. Oh, you can kind of tell in this one. It's looking pretty uneven right now. The um, wood is absorbing a lot of the paint, so I'm going to have to let this dry for a couple hours and then do a second coat. Um, and hopefully it will look a lot better after that. But... It's pretty exciting. It's good stuff. All right. Okay, so this is what everything looks like after the second coat, and it's quite a bit better than it was before. Um, although when you go over to these bigger panels, there's still some unevenness where the wood is absorbing the paint. And you can kind of see it has these um, like vertical lines that are showing up. And, you know, I'm not sure if it has to do with the paint that I'm using. You're supposed to use a latex-based enamel paint, I think. Um, and I am using just these, like, Target home decor paints. So they didn't say on them what type of paint they are. Um, I'm hoping that they are the right type. If not, I think it'll work anyway, but um, it may not be exactly what's recommended. But um, So I think I'm going to do a third coat on these just to be safe. Um, I think that should probably be good. And then we can start assembling, I think, which is pretty exciting. Okay, so I ended up doing a third coat and um, it seems to have worked pretty well. I don't see any more of the vertical stripes that I was seeing before. I actually put most of it away. Um, I have most of my stuff stored down under here. so. Um, and I actually started assembling a couple things. Um, I kind of forgot to bring out my camera for the, <laughs> this part. Um, so what I have assembled so far is just uh, one of these uh, port structures. Um, and I am going to, in the next video, assemble the other one and begin assembling the house. I have um, made the floors. Uh, they are rectangular panels that have the stair holes. Um, and then you need to add on these uh, bay window panels. Um, this is the third story floor. Um, and it only has one panel. And then there's another one underneath here that has the um, panels on both sides. Right there. Um, and I actually painted the attic panels. Um, this cream color and I'm in the process of sanding them down so they're nice and smooth and even and um, I assembled the front porch steps and are and I'm painting those and sanding them as well um, so that's what has happened since the last video and in my next video I'm gonna hopefully be doing a time-lapse of some of the construction process um, so look out for that <laughs> 